Okay, time to move on. We got uh, all three of these things bloodied up. So it's like jumping through one of the warp gates. In fact, he jumps in and somehow walks out the other side. Here, the images were unadulterated and their meaning ominously clear. The vampire hero, the bearer of the Reaver Blade, was confronted by an adversary worthy of his powers. The enemy race, long banished, had a champion of their own, with flaming eyes and a fiery sword. The resemblance I bore to the adversary mocked all my hopes. Had Cain been the vampire hero of prophecy all along? Did he suspect what I was? For if I was this foretold adversary, then Mobius was right, and had always been right. I was destined to fight Cain and destroy him, or be destroyed. What part did free will play in any of this? See, that is the question. And, well... What part could free will have in any sort of foretold event? If he is destined to fight Cain, win or lose, it's not really free will, then, is it? Your deliverance is at hand. In death is your release. This state is merely... Man. What the f fucking fuck? Well, okay. <laughs> Challenging two of them at the same time, along with a couple of these other weird ass things. Kind of, uh. irritating. But, uh. I guess it does kind of work to my advantage a little bit to have the other enemies here because I can use them to regenerate my health a bit. If need be. Because these guys are kind of... <laughs> uh, these guys are pretty aggressive too. Damn you! Caught up in attack animations. Of course, these guys are the, uh, the pillar guardians, so the first generation of them, I would imagine, the vampire guardians that first occupied the circle. And, I mean, oh, one's dead. If Raziel is, in fact, the champion that is destined to fight the vampire champion, these guys would definitely be the enemies of... be the enemies of him. Of course, it's kind of weird to think about how... Uh, I mean, Braziel was a vampire, and I guess maybe in some ways he still is. But he's not the, uh... Damn it, show yourself so I can kill you. He's not really a vampire anymore, I guess. Maybe, uh... I guess it's all a matter of perspective. Here, so I can kill you. These guys are all too willing to kill Raziel, huh?
Up here. Up here. Up here. Gotcha. Now we uh, gotta find our way into the material realm, of course. Near the crypts for the uh, the guardians. Of course, we're in another vampire ruin. How many of these things have we killed so far? Find a no, I don't want to do that. The um, way back into the material room has to be down here. Get a new reaver. Yep. Once more, the reaver absorbed the spirits of the former vampire guardians, and thus was imbued with the elemental power of water. Perhaps now I could enter that mysterious crypt at the end of the garden. Yes, we got the power. We can also do some uh, waterfalling and crap. That'll allow us to climb up the thing. I guess this isn't going to do me any good. Allow us to put the fires out. All right. I need to do that five times. We can climb up those frozen waterfalls so we can get out of here, you know. Ah, they don't stay frozen forever. One more, I know where it is. I'll just, uh. Hold on, how do I get to that? Because it's behind a bar. Behind. To there. Oh, shit. The area is even covered up in the spectral realm. Can't even get up there. There's got to be another way to get back. Get in the back of there. Without, uh... Doing a spectral jump. Damn this camera angle! Alright, that's the... That's the one I came through, I guess. Well, 
That did me no good. I have to jump back in to get back outside. <laughs> Maybe the jump between material and spectral realm would be less painful for the player if it didn't take as long. Especially the jump back seems to be an annoyingly slow process. Aside from finding a point in which you can do it, where the hell was that? I mean, you gotta find the place to do it, like I'm looking, I, I did it earlier, but I can't remember what room it was in. But then the animation actually takes a while. I mean, not an incredibly long while, but watching him tear chunks of his body off to get to regular player model is really irritating. Let's see. Going back up there, I don't think it's going to do me any good. The way up was actually covered over by those rocks when they fell. It would seem. So I guess I do have to do something up here, but... Damn if I know what it is. Perhaps it's something like this. Yeah, this seems like it was it. I have to jump back again. <laughs> Don't have to be at full health to do this anymore. That's nice. Hey. Followed me in there. Passed it. Damn it, go. Okay, just one thing to do. All the waterfalls have stopped. Uh, this was the way, right? I will use the flame reaver to light the braziers, and then I can use the water reaver to extinguish the ones that don't need to be burning. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> oh, you sons of bitches, I do not want to have to. 
jump down the hole. Ah, okay, they're already lit. Put the specific ones out, and we're good to go. So, our wretched little savior returns. Come to join the last pathetic battle of the vampire race? But on which side, I wonder? I've not come to fight you, Vorador. You don't know why you're here. I know this much. That you are the author of my fate. And as such, only you can rewrite it. <laughs> you give me too much credit. You forged the Reaver. I have seen the evidence. I was its maker, yes. Then you know its purpose. No. Only the scraps of prophecy my master shared with me. And do these scraps explain why you would forge a weapon to imprison your savior? Ah, well then. It seems we have our answer. You've chosen your path. I have chosen nothing. I've been deceived at every turn. You seem to know what I am. Tell me. I thought I did, once. But now all the prophecies have failed. The pillars are corrupted. I am the last of my kind. And when Mobius's hunters find me, it will have all been for nothing. You've forgotten about Cain. Ah, yes, Cain. I fear he shoulders a greater burden than he realizes. I cannot help you, even if I was inclined to. I crafted the Reaver Blade, but only at the behest of my sire, Janos Audrin. What sorcery he and the others laid upon the sword afterward, I cannot say. Janos tried to give me the Reaver before he died. He said that it was forged for me. But what did he mean? As my weapon, or my prison? Perhaps you should ask him yourself. Janos is here. In a manner of speaking. The greatest of us all, the father of our race. The Seraphim tore the heart from his living body five centuries ago. But there's no sign of decay. How is this possible after all these years? Somewhere, the heart still beats. And while it does, the body will remain preserved. If his heart could be restored, Janos might yet be raised. And you haven't tried to recover it in all these years? Many times. But our enemies hid the heart too well. It was taken as a trophy to Avernus Cathedral centuries ago, where they christened it the Heart of Darkness. Believing that it embodies the essence of our dark gift, they hid the heart away lest it fall into the wrong hands. Our hands. Redeem yourself. You may be our last hope. Perhaps you alone can find the heart if it is meant to be found. If Janus can be resurrected, he will have all the answers you require. This key will open your way to Avernus. But be advised, there are dark sorceries at work in the cathedral. You must be on your guard. Okay. Had a little bit of a cutscene with... Turns out Janos... Oh, I mean, he's sort of dead, but sort of alive. His heart's been removed, but as long as the heart continues to exist, he will as well. The Heart of Darkness was actually an item in the first um, Legacy of Cain game. But it wasn't... It was just sort of like an extra life kind of thing, not... Not specifically the Heart of Darkness that we're talking about here.
So wherever the hell the heart ended up going, we need to find it. If we can resurrect Janos, Raziel can find out about his fate. Whether he's destined to be the monster, or he's going to be the savior. Or maybe both. Just ran upstairs and then down him again. Look at all this crap here. <laughs> How the hell do I get out of here? Nothing here trying to kill me. Something's walking on. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, whatever. Now Vorador was a little, well, I mean, he was obviously aware that his time would be short. He knows he's the last vampire, I mean, aside from Cain. And he's perhaps just preparing for his own inevitable death. So he's less, uh, less overtly the hedonistic bastard that he's been a, a known as. He was also the guy who forged the Reaver. Now, I guess that was something that we knew before, but it's sort of uh, obvious now. Although, he he made the Reaver itself, and but confesses to not really know the intention behind its creation, because he was essentially sort of like contracted to do it by the other vampires, and whatever they did to it, whatever magic they used to turn it into what it is, it was out of, it was beyond his knowing. So if we could, if we can get Janos back, then shit, maybe we could, uh, figure it out. Anyway, uh, bring this episode to a close, because I failed to find my way outside.